On today's episode of Pocket Topics, we're gonna talk about future move sets for Pokemon from Generation 6. And what I mean, like what I mean with future move sets is, of course, the same kind of treatment that previous generation Pokemon have got the chance to get specific moves that are implying that uh, there are moves that they don't learn naturally, there are not egg moves, they're just moves that you can get through through tutor basically. So like, say for example, Heal Bell on an Eevee. It's something that is not naturally born, it can only be moved by a new tutor. And as a result, they give us some advantage. So we do hope to see that Generation 6 Pokemon get the same treatment and we're gonna talk a little more about how these strategies will work in their favor and other than that I'm not gonna mention the legendaries because basically I have no idea what they can become in the future and um, also if you guys have any ideas or thoughts on your own make sure to share that I wanna thank Stardasher, Flaming Axel, Varley uh, and Dustin the Death Shuckle for um, taking the time to comment um, on future movesets and you know making me think outside the box before doing this episode so without further ado, let's actually get more into it. And before I forget it, uh, there are a few Pokemon that have a very complete moveset, so I'm not going to comment them too long. But let's actually start off here with Chestnut. Chestnut has a few things going for it. It already learned stuff like Pain Split, and it got the Spiky Shield that works in its own. So I really, I tried to see a new movesets for him that could work in the future, you know, being with Recycle and stuff like that. But to be honest, the things I kind of came up with, it's not too spectacular, but I definitely see this guy learning knockoff here in the future. Knockoff will work well, considering it is a wall after all, and be able to knock off items is gonna work in his favor. Also, Drain Punch. Um, he got only a hammer arm at the moment, and I see Drain Punch and Super Power to be good moves, you know, to make it even reach out and actually hit even harder. Plus, Drain Punch makes sure to survive for a, a lot longer time, really. And Thunder Punch, just like Breloom, it's more of a filler and it's more if you do predict an, e an easy to deal with switching, like a flying type, and be able to take in the switching and probably take it out. Uh, Chestnut has not the same issues as Breloom when it comes to survival, but when it comes to sheer strength, it really needs to keep his counters away from him. So, Chestnut, one of those incredible pokes. I really see these four moves um, knockoff, superpower, drain punch and the Thunder Punch being something that he can implement on his own and uh, really become an even safer Pokemon to use here in the future. So enough of that, let's go with Delphox! Nah, but really, um, Delphox is actually one of those Pokemon that it's kind of hard to come up with something better on it. Uh, it is lacking in the defense department, but as a standalone tutor side moves, it doesn't get too much that could implement it to become even better. Uh, I saw moves like, you know, of course, Fall Play is going to be one of those keys that I think going to work, and of course, Wonder Wall and or Wonder Guard and Magic Guard. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. As I wrote down Thunder Punch, but they are physical moves; they're not going to benefit the Pokemon on its own. And really, I actually have a very good idea on that Delphox is not going to become better as it is right now. It's Foul Play might actually help it, you know, to be a survival and even recycle at best, I guess. But as far as him as a Pokemon goes, I think this is the end of the line. And I'm actually really sorry about that because I really want this guy to learn something different. We could hope for Icy Wind, that uh, maybe, but probably not. So, sadly, Delphox get the cold shoulder here, and um, we just have to deal with it. So, sorry Delphox, Fall Play I think is the best way to go from the here for the future, but that's about it. So, let's go for Greninja. And this Pokemon might actually become something else. And I really mean it, Greninja is still, to this day, one of the best Pokemon in OU, and for the right reasons, going with Protein and stuff like that. But we haven't seen a versatile physical side on it, we got the special side, it's it's very complete as a Pokemon. But on the special side, I, or physical side, sorry, I really want to see this guy learn Drain Punch, I want to see this guy learn Knock Off, and I definitely want to see this guy learn Ice Punch. I really see this guy having the means to, you know, being able to survive for a long run, and Drain Punch would actually help it immensely, much like Power Up Punch, Drain Punch can actually force it 
to become a way of recovery which in turn will make this Pokemon so goddamn potent it's not even funny. And yeah, that is basically it. Ice Punch, yes. I mean, this guy gotta have it. Ice Water Pokemon will really need the ice coverage, you know, work against it. it. There's not many things that can resist that. And it's a very good combo and it is struggling with it. Much like Polyrath, it really isn't working without an ice move. So this guy definitely needs it and Drain Punch is, like I said, gonna help it. The knockoff is gonna take on the pesky things that are gonna go in for instant and start. So Greninja, you're going to be just fine in this tier. I hope you get these moves, I really do. Um, so let's get into Diggersby. And for those who missed it, Diggersby is badass ugly. I mean, look at it. It's a one of very, very good poke though, but... Man, do they screw your design up. <laughs> I can't help it, it looks... It looks horrible, to be honest. Um, really, this Pokemon could become something else. I've written down the obvious one is gonna be Stealth Rocks, if that's the case. But a few things worth mentioning is, of course, Last Resort was a Mewtwo remove last gen. And this guy could definitely utilize it much better than, let's say, Return. Uh, definitely, I can see a setup being uh, that you have Protect or Power Punch in conjunction with Last Resort. Or Retaliate Last Resort and just Annihilate, really. And I'm gonna hope this guy learns Fire, Up, Fire Punch and Thunder Punch and even Drain Punch. If he learns Drain Punch, then GG everyone, GG. But as far as punch will really help it out because it's gonna be able to deal with a bit even broader uh, audience. Earthquake helps it up so much, but Skarmory is still blocking the way for it to succeed. And a fire punch would really help it out to be able to wall out necessary Pokemon relay. So as long as diggers we go, I will be fearing this guy if it learns the moves that I just mentioned. Thunder Punch, for the same reason, it helps it be able to deal with pokes that are at the moment somewhat wally against it and um, this Pokemon needs to be even stronger really. So yeah, let's go to our favorite bird everyone. Talon Flame is just wow. What can you say about this Pokemon that nobody else has already been saying? This is actually a very complete poke. Uh, it got the nature gift so it actually got the coverage to deal on its own but the only things I found that might be working, and I'm really saying might because I know it isn't complete, but one thing that really hits me off was Sky Attack. Since it got the priority, Sky Attack could be incredibly fun to use, in conjunction of course with Acrobatics. Uh, because of the priority, um, Sky Attack could actually annihilate whatever is on the opposing team. And I actually wrote down Drill Run, not very likely, but as a Pokemon, I, it really needs a to, for coverage on his own really, uh, it definitely needs something besides Steel Wing to be able to deal with Rock types, Steel types and even Fire types to some degree. And I mean Heatran is still a complete block against this guy so Drill Run would have helped it a lot. But really Talonflame is an extremely complete poke and uh, I don't have much for it that can make it even better but definitely, definitely a Sky Attack, I would love to see that on it. That would be shit in my pants for weeks if I see something like that, but hey, that is this. So anyway, let's get into that devilish Pokemon with a 666. Mm. So what is really the difference between this butterfly and other butterflies? Well, not much to be honest. It's with Motrim, Beautifly, Lydian, and um, Butterfree. Compare these guys to this guy, well, the only difference you really will find is the Hurricane and Compite Ice combination. Compite Ice makes it sure that it hits, for sure. Well, we have 93%, I guess. But it is a very, very comfortable and a good ability to have with, with it, of course. And Vivlion is actually vastly superior to its predecessors. But other than that, the things it lacks is the variety, the smooth pool, and sadly, the previous Mute Shooters has not given these guys in an easier time. We got Electro Web, which could actually work somewhat in its favor. And we got the Giga Drain, which actually will help it stay alive if you pull off a few Quiver Dances. But the thing that hits me, that I know is not gonna happen, but by god, if that were to happen, Heat Wave, please. Vivli on with Heat Wave, come on, we got the 666 going, why not just go with full out? Give it a Mega Evolution, boom, devil. Make it Dark Fire. <laughs> No, but really, um, as a standalone poke, it is it is very limited, but it 
does hit hard and Quiver Dance helps a lot, but I really want to see this guy at least get Giga Drain, because that will help it survive for a much longer time. And sadly, that is basically it. It doesn't get much diverse than that, so let's go into Power Roll. Nah, but really, let's let's kick some ass. Pyroar is one of those Pokemon I really feel can become something. Um, we only seen the special side, which makes it a very very complete Pokemon. I'm not like joking here. Um, it can actually work pretty darn well, to be honest. The special side is very diverse. It misses a few notes, sure. We got the Dark Pulse, we got the Heat Wave. It it is enough to deal with a lot of folks, but. The physical side is something that people aren't or haven't explored so much. I discovered it a few months back and loving it still. But I, even I know there are a few moves that are worth mentioning here that are worth taking notice of. The first one is gonna be Sen Headbutt. Give this guy Sen Headbutt, you're gonna see things flying. Last resort, definitely gonna do its trick here. Boot the Moxie combination, of course. And we got the Iron Head to be able to deal with the lost pesky things, it's gonna stop it. Uh, really, this guy. Pyro is definitely, definitely pulling weight. I'm gonna love seeing him in the future. And the only thing I guess I should say is I really want to see this guy learn low kick. Um, I hope for that, but it's it's not at obvious, and I I I wouldn't bet on it ever. But if they pull it off, then yes, give me my lion. So anyway, let's get, get into Florius. Yay! Ooh, the mighty flower fairy. Yes. Actually, I got nothing. I really got nothing with this guy. Um, as it stands right now, it is it is still a supporter. I mean, it could probably could get Giga Drain, I guess. But that still will limit its move pool a lot. So the only thing I'm hoping is, you know, maybe give this guy Signal Beam. But it would still be walled out by Poison types. So I'm gonna bet on Earth Power. I beg of you, give this guy Earth Power and Signal Beam. And it probably become a very very potent sweeper to be honest because it got the special attack it really have I think it's over 100 and especially the defensive bulk is off the roof so the things I really want to see is assault vest and actually be able to sweep being able to deal with things that are completely blocking it freaking iron folks are going to be freaking scared and so I really hope for something like that Flodius you need it you need a power you need a single beam you need to be able to deal with folks that are completely walling you right now and don't settle for the support. What is a supporter without the offense? And I think you'll pull through just nicely there. So that's what I'm hoping for. Giga Rain? Yes. Earth Power? Yes. Single Beam? Yes. Nobody will stop this thing. And it's a flower. And it's gonna kill you. Next up is Gogoat. Yeah. So what can I say about Gogoat? Actually, not too much. I really hope this guy becomes even more physical divided. Uh, it's, it's a very complete Pokemon as it stands right now with both milk drink and stuff like that. Uh, so the only things I'm really gonna hope for is Low Kick, please, Drill Run, please, and Gunk Shot actually. I really think, you know, being that it got the milk drink, you're probably gonna have some bad acids in his mouth, so please give us Gunk Shot. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think this guy can get much more diverse than that. I already got access to Brick Break, but Low Kick would probably help it even more. Uh, I wrote down Superpower, but I don't see that as very likely. And uh, really, it needs a poison move, and it definitely, definitely need something to be able to hit a critical hit with. So, real run, please. Um, if you're going to be able to wall up against it, critical hit is always nice. But as it stands right now, I think Gogo's a very complete Pokémon, and I don't see it being needed to be more diverse than this. So, let's actually just go to Furfro directly here. And kind of the same thing here. I got nothing on Furfro. I, is, I am hoping for foul play, I am hoping for low kick, I'm hoping for super fang. But as it stands right now, it is an extremely potent poke. I could only hope for moves like heat wave, you know, getting special side going. But I don't know. This guy is good. I mean I got nothing. This guy is great. Use him. Damn. <laughs> Let's go to Pangoro instead. Okay. This guy. This, this guy, this panda poke is actually, it has the potential to become something great here. And I, like I said, I'm gonna only base it on previous gen moves um, or previous mutator moves. 
And as it stands right now, I mean, this thing got Iron Fist, right? But they only got Comet Punch to utilize it. And why? I, I really mean it. I mean, think about it. We got Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, easily three moves you can learn. And we got Brain Punch. So it will come on par like Hitmonchan, but man, if not gonna hit harder. God damn it. I actually think this guy could become something grander. It, it still, you know, it lacks the possibility to deal with uh, fair types and actually, you know, just be pulverized by Dazzling Gleam. But I really believe this guy can pull through nicely here in the future. Give this guy some mental punches and rain punch. And I'm telling you, this guy is gonna do great. There is nothing stopping it. That's all I got. This Panda Poke is definitely RU material at this point, if it got those moves. Because it is so extremely strong that I see no reason not why this poke hasn't learned him yet. So, yes! Brain Punch. Let's go into Meowstic. Same story here. I got nothing. I am really hoping for the best that this thing gets like Foul Play and maybe Pain Split. Uh, with the Pranks, the Pain Split definitely one of those good combos for sure. But really, Meowstic is, as of now, is actually a very, very complete Pokémon, and I see no reason to uh, to implement anything more like that. Probably, you know, the different gods, maybe. But yeah, no, it's doing just fine. Let's look at Age Slash. I know, I know it's banned. I know, I know. Shut it. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. And you shut up. I only got one move for it. Magnet Rise. Done. Aroma Therapist. Now done. I don't have too many things about this poke that I really want to reach out on. Signal Beam, yes, definitely. It definitely needs something like that. Maybe Earth Power, I kinda see how it doesn't learn it. Because it doesn't look like it would be able to pull something like that off. But other than that, I really just hope this Pokemon learns, you know, some kind of sleepy move like Jawn, Hypnosis, Sleep Powder, Spore, no. Got that Swamp Infection going, much just Spore it. <laughs> no, but really. Um, you know, this thing learns Dream Eater, and knowing that it can't use it eh, seems seems pretty silly to me. So something like that. Um, let's actually look at its older sister, Slurpuff, the demon, the demon. Mm. First of all, this Pokémon is already extremely good as it is. Its special side counters a lot of things. Unburden makes it one of the best Pokes really when it comes to the fair side. But it is lacking, and it's lacking is a very weird potential to be honest, and it's one of those areas that you think this guy would be superb in. And it's being his physical side, he got access to Belly Drum and Unburden, and he only got Play Rough and Return as his best physical moves. So what I actually took into consideration was of course Seed Bomb. Yes! Seed Bomb, Iron Head, please! I think those two moves will make it work even better, and why the hell not throwing Gunk Shot there? Gunk Shot would be able to pull a lot of damage against common, you know, counters actually to fairies. Consider given circumstances about, of course, bringing in Gramble and stuff like that, Gunk Shot would annihilate it while he would actually manage to survive a play rough, so keep that in mind. Other than that, Slurpuff is a very, very complete Pokémon, and I have very few issues with it. So let's actually look at the Pokemon that I am looking forward to getting some moves. That is gonna be Dermalimar. Freaking Psychic Squid. Yeah. Freaking Psychic Squid. No, but really, this guy. I actually I thought about this yesterday, and this is actually the reason why I did the episode in the first place. This thing should get Sucker Punch, shouldn't it? I mean, superpower building itself up, then Sucker Punch the shit out of everybody. Done deal for me, yes. Yes. And of course, knockoff is very, very given to this guy, uh, without a doubt. And Thunder Punch, I am asking you, it will be such a perfect coverage for it. Um, it's still, you know, fairy types are a huge problem to it. And of course, we can't forget about uh, bug weakness. But really, who are they to judge you when you sucker punch them? Mmm, dumb bitch. <laughs> no, but really, this. I really believe Malamar needs something like this to actually pull through real nicely. Sucker Punch, Knock Off, and help me God, Thunder Punch. Yes. Game Freak, do not disappoint me. 
Not much to say here, to be honest. I do hope for Iron Head. That's my best bet. And of course, Stealth Rocks. And actually, you know, see if he can build something that defensive mechanism in it. An Ice Punch would be really nice for coverage. But as it stands, Barbarical, like a few other folks, is a very, very complete Pokemon. And I don't see a reason to uh, get it even few more moves. It actually just needs to be able to stay alive. Maybe, maybe Iron God or Mega Prize would be nice. Yeah. I think that's it. Drogalti. Game Freak, where is my adaptability? I've been almost asking this for one year now. Where is my adaptability on this poke? Drogalti is one of my favorite pokes, to be honest, and there are not many moves that would be considered to be even greater. I really feel it can kind of hold its own. Moves I kind of want to see on it is Icy Wind, at best. And it's only for coverage, but it, it got an amazing move pool. It is, in my honest opinion, one of the more complete Pokémon in this this generation. So Heatwave, Giga Drain, just to say something more. But I really believe this guy is gonna pull its own as it is. So, eh. Trigal, you're the king. Clawlister. Not much to say here either. Even Clawlister is one of those extremely complete Pokémon. So I swing the best, but really. It holds its own, it doesn't need anything. It's a mini Blastoise, it can do whatever the hell it wants. It's awesome, deal with it. Heliolisk. Alright, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I have the same type of opinion about Heliolisk. Uh, I hope for Dragon Pulse, could be nice. Um, I also hope Kalat learns Heatwave, it would be really fun to see. And also, it got Bulldoze already, so I really hope it gets Earth Power. It would seem very, very weird, but it would also make somewhat of sense. Plus, Heliosk is, like I said, is a very, very complete Pokémon, so... Don't screw him up. No, we can't screw this guy up. He's, he's so good. God damn it. Actually, Heliosk, you stay the way you are. Don't you ever change for me. <laughs> Let's get into Tyrantrum. This one is actually the easiest one to just get down to. Tyrantrum just needs two things, and uh, it is Iron Head. And it is super power. And I think this Pokemon is complete as it is. It already got the Dragon Dance. It got the. Um, it's called Strong Jaw. You can't stop this guy. It's. It's over. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. But now it comes to the Pokemon that I think are a little more interesting Aurorus. Aurorus has, as you all know, some issues with weaknesses. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a Mosquito Bite could pr probably kill it. It is a reason this thing went to a fossil and become extinct. But yeah, there are a few things worth mentioning when it comes to this guy because it really has some potential. Just throughout its typing, I really believe it can become something else. So yeah, I'm gonna mention first off, of course, the Ice Wind seems kind of given. But the things that gonna, you know, breach out here and I think it's gonna work on is actually both Iron Head and this, the second one must be Earth Power. I really believe it would benefit its typing really well and go together with free stride, discharge, nature power. Earth power can actually just prove the next level of the coverage. Its move pool makes sure that it hits super effective against 628 pokes. It is no other poke that can pull that feed off. Aurorus might actually be the one that can take the least hits of every everybody, but it can also take a lot of hits against or uh, upon everybody so yeah i am looking forward to see earth power being a move and you better get it or else you better you better still be on actually you're fine you got eve evolution people gen you already as it is get out okay okay guys halucha i mean this guy is in my opinion already complete as a pokemon he got unburdened it got Sky Attack, it got freaking Fly Impress, whatever that means. They should give Agron that move. Um, anyway, um, the only things I've written down here are Elemental Punches, and I'll just stick to that. I really want to see this guy learn Fire, Ice, and Thunder Punch, but... I don't know if its hands actually are claws, so I can't really get into that, but as a standalone Pokémon, it holds its own really well. I have no idea how they can make this guy even more threatening. Besides an Ice Punch, we we'll probably do just fine. But yeah, that's basically it. Let's go into the day. They really screwed this guy over. 
Game Freak, make sure this guy learns a special fairy move. I mean, if Pikachu gets one, why can't this guy? And other than that, I only written down Signal Beam, but you know what? It isn't gonna cut it. This guy is so screwed over. I mean, he might as well just give after you too, so people can finish it off before he even does anything. I really feel for this guy, I really do. Same goes for Carbink, uh, for the same reasons. It doesn't really need to learn anything more. It got a very firm standpoint of what it wants to become. Um, so I'm gonna put it at the same league as I kind of do with Klefki, which is basically... Eh? Eh? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then... Eh? <laughs> it already works. That's it. So okay, Gudra, 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 Gudra. Gudra is one Pokémon I think will do just fine in next installment, and I'm gonna hope this guy gets Giga Rain for sure. Uh, hoping for Heat Wave and Aqua Tail and Seed Bomb. I think it already gets Aqua Tail. Thinking about it, but let's 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 hope it doesn't. Uh, I really hope for Gunk Shot, and I really hope for Super Power. Um, I think this Pokémon can get, become very very versatile. Of course, you know, without the Dragon Dance, it really isn't a sweeper, but my god, if it's not defensive enough to become one, it gets access to Curse, it gets access to Acid Armor, it gets access to freaking Counter. Uh, so, this guy can definitely pull some something through. Um, and when, like I said, their Giga Drain would help it immensely, because Giga Drain in combination with Assault Vest would actually make sure to get some wave recovery. And if it gets Heat Wave, it could actually be somewhat usable in um, VGA. And the other thing I'm gonna just mention, Seed Bomb, much more reliable and Power Whip. I, I get it, Power Whip is awesome. Got the awesome animation, I get that. But as a safe move, please just don't. I don't care. Um, like I said, Giga Rain, this guy needs it now. And maybe, maybe a, a safer water move than Muddy Water. Let's get into Trevenant. Alright, I'm not gonna go all out here. Trevenant is really on its own enough to deal with anything. It got the harvest, it got, it got freaking everything. It is a threat, to, to be honest. But there are two things I wanna see on this guy that I think will do just nicely in combination with this high base attack of 110. That is Thunder Punch, yes, please, and Super Power to be able to deal with ice types that go into wall it out as it stands up right now. Super Power would be amazing. It would actually kill the Pokemon. I'm not even kidding. It will be just fine. So yeah, that is basically Trevenant. Let's go with his cousin, the Gore Guys. And here is nothing serious either. Um, one thing I want to see for Gore Guys is definitely the Get Heal Bell. Yeah, I really believe that it works in his favor. Uh, and the other thing that is worth mentioning in Synthesis, being able to recover without the lead seed, to actually be able to wall things out. Oh my god, it would just work wonders for it, really. So, Pain Split, yeah, it's nice, but Synthesis really makes sure it survives. So, please, Game Freak, do it. And we're friends. Not really. Uh, other than that, this guy is actually perfectly good on his own. Ho, oh, oh, ho, the ice table, ho. Oh. <laughs> actually, I like um, Avalog a lot. I actually call mine, mine Tundranator. And um, really, there is nothing this guy could do that is already is doing. He got rapid spin, you know, stuff like that. But if I had to, I guess I would force it to be able to learn Sen Headbutt, Iron Head, and Super Power. Yes, please. It actually got some fair coverage with both Jara Ball, uh, Avalanche, was it more? I think it even learns Earthquake. So it got the coverage down, it got the Curse, which makes it great. But I really want to see a physical move because a physical move like Super Power and Iron Head because I think that would take on even the Pokemon that are able to take it out as it stands right now. So and the only coverage I guess that it's going to be hard to deal with is of course the fighting type. But yeah, that's life. Let's look at our last poke, the Noivern. I barely use this guy, but I know the terrify the the freaking threat this thing brings to the table. This is the fastest Dragon Pokemon as it stands right now. It might not be the strongest, but damn, if it is not the fastest, 
Um, so the things I want to see on this is definitely first off Sucker Punch. To be able to Sucker Punch, a Sucker Punch is great. But then we also got the Sky Attack, we got the Bug Bite, where I really think it works in his favor. I am pretty sure, much like Hydreigon, that this guy can learn uh, Earth Power in the future. So I'm gonna really hope for that, because he already got Hurricane, we got Boom Burst. You know, make this cycle complete and give it Earth Power so it's not walled out by Rock Types and, of course, Steel Types. Other than that, I think Earth Power is the safest bet. Like I said, Sky Attack, I beg of you. If you want to make this physical, um, you know, being with the speed that it has, Sky Attack will be immensely powerful. And after that, go for you, it's only just whatever. Um, so yeah, this is my list. It became extremely long, and I'm sorry. I hope you enjoy it. And like I said, if you have any future movesets you want to see on your own, or you know, you have seen something that you want to say to me, make sure to give it in the comment section here below. And also, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And the sky is the limit. So have a good day. All right, take care. Bye.